Hey friends, please welcome to the part 14. We are looking at real certification questions. Please focus on the concepts. Hit the subscribe button if you are interested in clearing certifications, Amazon, GCP, as well. Let us jump into the questions. See, the important thing is you have a mobile game application and you are authenticating the users to save their progress. For example, if I log in and I, I, am, I am in a middle stage of a game and I am having these many points. The next time I try to log off and log in back, I should see that data. I should not, it should not get lost and nobody else should see that data. Okay. So most of the users are part of the open ID connect compatible social media website. Whenever you see this open ID connect compatible social media, Cognito is the answer. Whenever you think that you would like to use that as an identity provider, Cognito is the answer. It is used for customer identity and access management that scales frictionless it is totally frictionless and secure and it supports oidc and saml protocol saml is used for sso authentication single sign on so cognito is my answer if you see option c cloud directory it is a fully managed hierarchical data store in aws cloud this is useful for examples like organizational charts course catalogs device registries you know, previously we used to use ldap or we used to use Active Directory LDS. It limits, it is a single hierarchy. Now Cloud Directory offers you multiple hierarchies, but it will not help you with this regard. It is not an identity provider. Now let us look at D, that is AD connector. See, if you have Active Directory on-premises and you are on cloud and those applications are using Active Directory on-premises, you can do that. You can establish a connection and you can redirect the directory request to your on-premises Active Directory without caching any information in the cloud. Basically, it is trying to connect Active Directory on-premises with Active Directory on cloud. Here, anybody is talking about on-premises? No, it is talking about a mobile game application. So why we would use this solution? It is wrong. Now, let us look at assume role with Web Identity API. See, this will return a set of temporary security credentials. But if you see this for mobile applications, we recommend that you use Cognito. Okay, we have a mobile application. Yes, it says mobile game application. You see this mobile game application and hence this would be wrong and Cognito would be correct because I showed you in the documentation also. We would lock this answer, final answer, move forward. See, this is the next question. What is happening? The application is outputting the logs to our text file. There is an application, for example, on an EC2 instance, it is creating a text file. This is a text file and it is putting all the logs in a text file. The logs must be continuously monitored for security as incidents. That means somebody has to constantly, somebody means here, if you see this, somebody has to constantly monitor these logs to see if there is any threat of security or not. The design, we have to do this with the minimum effort. What should we do? Point number one, point number one, point number one. Whenever we talk about minimum effort, use whatever AWS gives you as a ready-made service. So what does it give? We all know thumb rule time, thumb rule time, thumb rule time. We all know that watch logs, watch logs is something which has been provided by AWS. So what will we do? We will install and configure watch logs on the applications EC2 instance. So this is your EC2 instance. We will install it, the agent here, and we will collect the CloudWatch metric to monitor the application logs, set the CloudWatch alerts on the metrics. So we will constantly monitor the metrics so this looks correct because this is a ready-made solution from AWS itself. Now, if you look at option D, option D is trying to create a custom solution using Kinesis, Lambda and so on. Boss, do not do that. Do not reinvent the wheel if the wheel has been already created. So D is wrong. The same, the problem is with A also. A is trying to create a custom solution. First, you will put it in S3. Then you will use S3 events to trigger Lambda function and then it will update CloudWatch metrics. Boss, not required. Let us look at C. C is doing the same process. It will copy the application log files to CloudTrail and it will trigger Lambda functions, CloudWatch metrics, not, not required. You have, a, see, we want to do minimum effort. Can A be, can A work? Can C work? Yes, probably it may work. Is it minimum effort? No, the number of hops are very high. Number of hops are very high. The number of hops is low in option B and hence this would be my answer. Let us look at the next question. See, there are so many EC2 instances and what is happening is you have tens and thousands of applications on these EC2 instances. For example, you have this EC2 instance, this, 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 this. So, so many EC2 instances and there are so many applications on these EC2 instances. Now, you are trying to test the application. So, what the application team is saying is they need information whether the network ACL, the network control list and the security groups are working as expected. During testing, they want to know ACL and security groups are working as expected. How can they know out of these four options? 
see whenever we are talking about security groups acls the first thing comes to my mind is vpc flow logs you can log ip traffic using vpc flow logs it helps you to capture information about ip traffic going to and from the network into your vpc you can do number of tasks like diagnosing restrictive security group rules monitoring the traffic de determining the direction of the traffic to and fro and so on and that is what you need right you want to know network acls works fine security groups works fine so this is my answer see what they will do is they will turn on the logs they will send the logs to s3 which is fine s3 is my cloud object storage which is meant for storing these objects and files and then we can use athena to query the logs athena is meant to write queries on petabytes scale data on s3 it has the ease and flexibility so this works perfectly fine let us look at option b see option b is talking about using inspector inspector is just like your cop or a police it is used to catch thieves similarly here vulnerability management if somebody is trying to hack the system and so on it is used for that purpose to see if there are any unintended network exposure is the question talking about network exposure no they are just saying hey boss whether my acl works or not whether my security groups works or not tell me only that so this is wrong see config rule thumb rule always remember config rule is anything with the configuration you are changing for example you have so many ec2 instances if you are changing the configuration then it config it will log all of these it can assess audit and evaluate the configuration of your resources in this case what are the resources ec2 instances it will not help you to monitor your flow logs etc net ip network and those things this is wrong fourth d is telling you use cloud trail send the trails to s3 and use lambda to query the trails nobody uses lambda to query the trails that is wrong you should use athena first cloud trail what is cloud trail used for it is used to track user activity and api usage activity is the question telling you to track user no it is telling you to track network acl security groups they want to know it is working or not so that's why this is also wrong and a would be my final answer we will lock this friends if you have not yet subscribed please do so if you want to clear the certification this brings us to the end of part 14 if you want to become a member you can use the link in the description and join or there is a join button below this video see you in the next part